In Utah, skiing represents about a $1.5 billion industry. Allowing the public access to these incident reports could have a chilling effect. It's, of course, in the state's interest to not publicize any mishaps. This is a simple case of state law. When Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle tried to confirm the cause of a ski lift breakdown late last year at Deer Valley, he asked for the records and wound up changing state policy in the process. Here's Nate to explain. Skiers had to be rescued and belayed to safety one by one. Take a look at this video. You may remember these images from Christmas Eve. The Carpenter Express left at Deer Valley broke down. 167 skiers had to be rescued. No one was injured. The chair stopped working just before three in the afternoon Christmas Eve. So the specific part that broke down was the flex coupler between the motor and the gearbox. So it was a catastrophic failure. This report corroborates what Deer Valley told us, but this story isn't about the breakdown so much as what we had to do to get this record and what the Utah Department of Transportation is going to do now. Chair lifts and gondolas are regulated by an obscure agency within UDOT called the Passenger Ropeway Safety Committee. Resorts have to send their inspection and incident reports to that committee. So I filed a public records request asking for the report Deer Valley sent about the Carpenter Express breakdown. But UDOT denied my request. A ski lifts are exceedingly safe, but it's still in the public good to have education and transparency. So Michael Kaplan lives in Park City and has taught ski resort management at universities. In Utah, skiing represents about a $1.5 billion industry. And it's, of course, in the state's interest to not publicize any mishaps. In its denials, UDOT cited a provision in the state's motor vehicle statutes saying accident reports aren't available to the public. I'm Carlos Braceros. A lot of times people think, oh, we exist to plow snow or to build roads. Also, UDOT director Carlos Braceros wrote that knowing an incident report will be a public record may cause the ropeway operator to avoid telling the entire story or filing the report at all. The resorts are obligated to be forthcoming with the state. The next item on the agenda is Nate Carlisle and the Department of Transportation. We appealed and received a hearing before the State Records Committee. Allowing the public access to these incident reports could have a chilling effect on the information reported by the ski resorts after an accident. This is a simple case of state law. We argued the law UDOT was citing is for cars, not ski lifts. We also showed the records committee other states that do make public reports about ski lift breakdowns. Colorado, California, and Washington even disclosed what injuries resulted from lifts. The ropeway committee wants us to take it on faith that its system worked here. The law provides us an opportunity to check that out. Committee members privately looked at the Deer Valley report. We reviewed the record in camera. <clears throat> to me, it looks more like an incident or investigation report. Equipment failed uh, and was fixed, and the public needs to know that. And with that... And I vote aye. So the motion carries unanimously. <laughs> we won, but that's not where the story ends. Along with a copy of the report, the UDOT director included a note saying that from now on, UDOT would not consider ski lift and gondola incident reports to be a protected record. That means anyone in Utah should be able to get copies. At Alta, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah. For state or local government public records, or if you need help appealing a denial, go to the web address on your screen, archives.utah.gov slash open government. You'll find the laws, templates, and an ombudsman, ombudsman rather, who can answer all of those questions for you.